stability of lasers. A stable cavity is one in which the radiation is captured inside the cavity, creating standing waves while the beam moves between the mirrors. The geometry of the cavity determines whether the cavity is stable or unstable. Laser output is from the center of the optical axis. For high powered laser, unstable cavities are often used. The unstable resonator is used only if the active medium has high gain because the beam passes through the active medium in less time than in a stable cavity. So the geometric patterns of these two mirrors are numericals come on this formula. G1 is equal to 1 minus L upon R1 where L is this distance, R1 is the radius of curvature, G2 is 1 minus L upon R2. R1 and R2 are the radii of curvature of the mirrors. L is the optical length. Stability criteria for laser cavity is that the multiple of G1, G2 should be less than 1 and greater than 0. So if we put the value of G1 and G2, then this criteria should be satisfied. Discuss stability diagram of an optical cavity. Here is the stability diagram of the optical cavity where we have can see that the stability region has been surrounded by two hyperbolas. The cavity lying between the shaded areas are stable and cavities at points exactly on the line are marginally stable. See, G1 equal to 0 and G2 equal to 0 is a symmetrical confocal resonator as you can see here in the diagram. Next, G1 equal to 1 and G2 equal to 1 represents a plane parallel combination. G1 equal to minus 1 and G2 equal to minus 1 gives a symmetrical concentric configuration. G1 equal to 0 and G2 equal to 1 gives semicircular cavity. Few lists of constants which you will be requiring when we begin the numericals of this topic.